Hello guys and welcome to a top four match from the Game of Thrones Worlds 2015 Championship Tournament. My name is Steven. My name's Robert. Hello, Robert. Your name means crown or crown, wreath. Wreath, literally to encompass. Dan is on the right, Patrick is on the left, and these guys checking out their setup hands looking. Now hat wait, wait, before we go any further. How are you feeling about setup in second edition? Oh, I love it. Eight gold for seven cards. That's a that's a good ratio of a floppitude. You've got uh, dupes that I'm that I've been wanting for a long time because you really had to work for it in 1.0 to get you, the five, six, seven card flops. Let me tell you, you had to run a lot of trash. A lot and of trash. as it happened, they just kept making the trash better and better, mm -hmm. which is why you saw zero and one cost dudes Hilaria, almost victories. exclusively. And a what is that? Uh, a weapon weapon smith? I call him the Lannisport weapon smith money lender S sword guy. Guy. Angry man. Swordsmith. I you could call him a swordsmith. He's, he's, the guy. he's your, your classic Lannister reducer. And look at all these salty people on the Greyjoys. They are salty over there. All right, so what? Greyjoy fealty? Greyjoy fealty, yes. And uh, looks like Banner of the Lion meeting up with the Targaryens. We got a dragon, friends with a lion. If this works out, it's going to be unstoppable, if that's, I know anything about That's thrones. a great cartoon already. Absolutely, yeah. I think I saw that one when I was a child. That's right. We have Sneak Attack dropped by Patrick there. It's a two claim. You only get the single challenge, though, and then calling the banners. Going to get some gold that's, that's for his opponent's dudes. Interesting one Sneak Attack to open up with. To me, I might be wrong here, but only one challenge even at two claim. First turn. Here's I think I think what nah. what I know I'm, I'm not I'm always like to have the options but yes uh, when I look at Patrick I think okay it's a great joy fealty deck uh, it's done well it's got to the top four my guess is going to be that this deck is all about controlling the board so he wants to lead probably with that two claim entry or military challenge maybe with mm -hmm. a put to the sword mm -hmm. uh, and then just get three dudes off the board and, and once you've established remember there's no valor you don't have to remember we I mean it's not like I've I've seen we're not going to forget that. Uh, there's no valor right now, so reduce, reduce, reduce. Well, hold on, I'll, I'll make Try my deuce. point in a second. There's oh, Balin. for a Balin, and that's just going to help this cheap. strategy tremendously. So he's almost yeah. guaranteed a two claim military here. If that's the challenge that he's looking for, and but I can only enough? assume, and he's got like a put to the sword or something like that. Hopefully, a put he's to the sword. He's got that two gold hanging there. Yeah, and Dan, Dan just probably needs to put out a bunch of guys here. I mean, just there's not a lot to do. Just, just survive this military challenge. Hit his hand. And uh, make sure that you ultimately are going to come out on top in the long game. I think Dan wants to play the long game here. Yeah. Now, well, Illyria. Let's talk about Illyria. Illyria, Illyria is pay awesome. Pay two gold to stand it's any ready. character. Yeah. Ugh, that's crazy. I absolutely love it. I, I love it as love it. well. All right. Who we got coming out here? All right. So now we have Show the full allotment Dan. of gold. Seven is an awesome start to be Shh. spending with. There's a King's Road. Another King's Road man. So he's got some pop and drop I mean, look, ready to go. Not a drop single and pop. Not a single location. Drop and pop it. N drop and pop. Uh, Patrick, not a single location yet. Dan, yeah. Two he's... King's Road. So he's got a huge Boom, resource. Sir Jorah advantage. is a beast. There's Sir Jorah. And Two he's... costs for four strength. He's going to betray you. Stacking and a dupey. That's going to really help him for this would-be military challenge. Yeah, I think he's, he's planning ahead for that for certain. But that, that that's uh, that's kind of what I'm uh, feeling and why I'm always kind of uh, suspicious. We'll see how it shakes out, of course. But uh, Suspicious of Jorah? Uh, of, no, of the, uh, the sneak attack plot he's first turn. It's because you're essentially uh, heavily committing uh, first turn where you already have arguably your fewest options available to you because you haven't set up except for set up yet. Uh, no, know. I, I totally, man, I totally agree with that in theory. And, and you know, you look at what, what happened here, though. Dan, two King's Roads, and he plays no, two no one. Two King's Roads. Yeah, that's surprising. He plays no, no one. one. He, boom. Why? Here, here it comes. Challenge. I'm assuming it's military. There's no reason to do a uh, a power here. And yeah. it all hinges on uh, if he has a put to the sword in his hand, That's going to really make this thing tick if he's got it. And I, I think a lot of these Greyjoy Filthy decks, these heavy aggros, probably run in two at least mm -hmm. and maybe even three put to the swords there. It's a great card. Now, he does have the two he gold, have the two. so it's right there. He's going to win by uh, five, four or more, five or more. So. Yeah, he's got old Balin shutting down the strength. Oh, there it, there it is. Boom. Put to it. So he puts Sir Jor to the sword early before so that's, he even betrays anybody. That's probably worth it because everybody but the weaponsmith, of course, is going to die. Yeah, look now, and now it's like now he's got to deal. So he, he clears the dupe, and now he's got to deal with the two claim. Yep. Now, of course, Theon getting essentially renowned whenever a challenge is unopposed. Right. The way I like to think about it, and we're gonna see what Dan's gonna claim here. It's really Tough good. Choices. There goes the bro. Whoa, the weaponsmith. And no. The no. Leaving nothing but a Sir Jorah there. 
And I see this is the kind of board where you gotta wonder if Patrick goes next turn into something like a March to the Wall. Mm -hmm. I think that's kind of his, I feel like that's his movement there. Is yes. clear the board first turn as much as you can, follow it up with a heavy March to the Wall. Mm -hmm. And then again, there's no Valor, there's no big reset. We don't think Dan's running varies. he yep. might be. A lot of players not loving that card. Not me. I love. Not me. I love, I love me that one card of varies as well. in every deck. Yeah, just in case you just never know. Just in case, yeah. He's a spider, and Dan's gonna have to now catch up in this game. Basically, I'm That's assuming the intrigue, and and this is like, I don't know. Again, kind of my thing. That worked out very nicely for Patrick, but it's like, man, intrigue challenges on the first turn. Mm -hmm. Ooh, here comes a big old intrigue here. A big old intrigue. Only one claim. I mean, it's not huge, but uh, it's it's nice, no doubt about it. And it's, look, Dan's sitting on four gold. I mean, like, you gotta watch out for Tears of Bliss. You gotta watch out for all, but Balin is one Tears away from just complete uh -oh, destruction. Here, oh, and, and he readies, himself. yeah, see, that's that's redonk. Woo. So he's gonna get the full suite of challenges here. There's the Intrigue, he's gonna take the power there. Power, also unopposed. And opting, of course, to not do this with Jorah, as you might expect him to do, mm -hmm. uh, because he doesn't want those Betrayal tokens to start accumulating. That's right. You gotta be careful with your Jorahs, guys. Use them when you need them. Yep, everybody don't, knows that. Don't overexert them. Because the deal is is in the marshalling cost. Isn't that two gold for four strength? It totally For is. a limited time only, Yeah. in a very literal sense. Keep him around, yeah, yeah. in a very, very limited sense. Literal and limited. Literally limited. All right, well, that was a, that was that was a pretty okay shakeout. In, in terms of like how it played out, and for, uh, for Dan having now five power, but losing two characters to... Uh, uh, Patrick losing one, and he's got double and king's two power. Yeah, double there. king's sword. This this could blow up for Dan if he uh, draws when he needs to. Yeah, Dan maybe hitting like a summons or something to search his deck so that he can go into the next turn, have a character play out like two to three yeah. big names, big drops like Danny or or Jamie. These kinds of mm -hmm. big characters. I think he's right right in this game. I think that's this one correct. Is not what's at Patrick all need way. though, Mister Greyjoy well, expert? He needs some resources if if I'm if I'm thinking right. Uh, he could go yeah. double sneak attack here and try to push the advantage. Because where's that econ? Yeah, he needs a little econ. He could get, uh, you know, that that Balin's warship, Great Kraken, would be it, a huge asset here. He's uh, he's uh, Patrick is lucky that there wasn't any uh, targeting kill actions on Balin there, because that's essentially what's holding Patrick's board together as I mean, it stands now. I mean, yeah, Balin now. goes away, and this whole thing is put to pass. House of Cards right here. Where well, it would be. Yeah, Balin essentially the kind of the Frank Underwood of the Greyjoys. Really? Minus, minus a lot of characteristics that make Frank Underwood what he is. Ah, so he's he's like him and yet unlike him. And yet him. very much not. There's the march. So we did Ooh, see the march there. Marching. And there's the summons. All right. Hey, can't be too you're 2-0. You're 2-0, oh. oh, baby. Oh. If you say enough things at once, one of them's going to be right. That's right. And Dan going to summon and look for something reasonable. I, I'm hoping that he can pull a heavy hitter like a Jamie uh, or even a, a Danny. Might be okay here. Mm, Danny. Get some insight on the board and start to push that long-term advantage. I would even take a Tyrion here. Oh, I would take a Tyrion. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, and I forget, I always forget he's not loyal, is he? Yeah, right? And that that card, if you guys have never played with Tyrion, he is just the bee's knees. He's the knees. He's 100% he bee's knees. For sure. He's got that little tag on the back of his neck. We got not on the back of his shirt, on the back of his neck. It says 100% bee knees. Right there it is. Brandon. Right Brandon. Do not machine wash. Hang, I wouldn't dream of it. Hang dry. Yeah, Tyrion wouldn't mind that. Or I should say Tywin wouldn't mind that. Tywin wouldn't. Oh, oh it's Jamie. a Jamie. All right, he does get it. Woo. Oh, Yami. Right, He's man. Swedish, right? Yami? Yami. Yams? Oh, Yami. Yams for short. Or Jam. The Jam. He is the Jam. Is Patrick going to play any locations or what? Jamie is really hyperactive, by the way, if you didn't know. He just does military challenges left and right. He does, and he doesn't kneel to do them, and he gets power when he does them. It's just right. a, a beautiful package. This is that, that early Jamie where he's just a stud. Yes. Before he becomes when all When he has intricate. two hands and no emotional troubles whatsoever. Yeah, right? If only we could all be so lucky. That's right, because one of those two things is coming around to bite us. We're either going to like have a case of the sads, or we're losing a hand. Yeah, I don't know which one I'd prefer. Hmm. That says a lot about Steven. <laughs> I like my emotional serenity <laughs> to rise above. Oh, man, and look at this. So now we see the full impact of this sneak attack in the march. Got to march. We just got Illyrio sitting pretty, but, boy, he can do some work on his own, to be Get, honest. Getting rid of uh, 
a uh, god, what's his name? Sir Jorah is is painful, but it's not terribly painful considering what is invested in a card like Sir Jorah. Yeah, Just I mean, two gold. Is two gold. It's like eh, you got a turn cares. out of him. You want a challenge? You got unopposed. I think it's fair, or something. Did he get another post? Might Four not. gold? I think he did. I think it was... A, well, no, you probably... I think he blocked with the Navigator. Ah, there you go. You know, as, as good Close players enough. would do. Close enough. If you're going to kill something, you may as well block with it first. It's a classic Thrones theory right there. <laughs> classic. That has been the case since the beginning of this game. And yet sometimes... People don't. People forget. People forget. They do do that sometimes. But yeah, this this is all really going to come down to, uh, I guess, what's what's still in their hand. I wish we had hand cams well, on Dan's, this one. Yeah, Dan's essentially sitting on six gold worth of games yeah, right there. So he's got ten to play with. Right? He can do anything right he wants. All those drop and pops. Drop it. Drop right, it. Pop there's it. the pop. So Boom. there's the first minus three, three gold. gold. Well worth it, everybody. Drop it. Boom. Boom. Whoa, another... So that's another three gold. There's six total. There's seven. That's Danny. It's got to be it's Danny. It's got to be. It's the only one that costs that much. Boom. Boom. There she is. Boom. And duped it dupe. up. She also has insight, which is going to oh, it's be so critical. wonderful. It's so critical. Wonderful for Dan. Anything that gets you cards. Cards arguably more important in this game. Well, in any of these card games. I mean, if they are card games, draw the cards. You want the monies to pay for your cards as well, for sure. But... Get the cards when it's a choice between one or the other. Definitely get the cards. And you know what? You know what's so fascinating about second edition so far is that it takes a little it takes a little importance off of the cards because the board becomes more important. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, obviously, man, the ship right. obviously cards lead to board. I mean, we can we can dive into this forever. However, when you don't have that valor clear that you're expecting twice in a game, mm -hmm. and you have to immediately rebuild your board, you can you can keep some sticky characters out there. Hey man, I gotta say that uh, Patrick's board is uh, really starting to swell up here. Um, just just overall character dump on Dan's side of things is not sufficient to withstand protracted it's, claim effects here. Yeah, it's, it's not enough. Uh, I don't know if he just doesn't have any characters to speak of. I mean, the, you really don't risk overextending too much. You're not even past a wildfire at this point. Right. There's the Magister, and he's going to get himself an unopposed intrigue challenge. Intriguing. Potentially. We assume the shipwright isn't kneeling. It's, yeah. the, it's the only intrigue icon we have for the yeah, Greyjoys. Yeah, and instead, Patrick going to choose to... Leave that Ooh, ship right up. 20% of the oh, cards have been there is that. Oh, we do not sew. I love that card. And it's a great one. Patrick looks like he had one gold left over, so oh. could have nuked a King's Road. Oh, that's disappointing, because that King's Road's going to be part, I can only imagine, of what will help give Dan a chance at winning this game. Yeah, a comeback, a comeback philosophy. Yeah, cause, it's cause not really a comeback. It's not a comeback, but his, yeah, his board is, is shaky right now, and he's got to fortify, got to hedge it up. Assuming a military challenge here. Yeah, it looks like military. We've got Blackwind's crew and Theon. And, well, where do we go? What do we do here? Ooh, it's it's tricky business because the strength just isn't there right now. Yeah, and you know... Uh, for for the Targaryens, that is. Mm -hmm. Danny, all important. You don't really want to... You don't want to lose that dupe, yeah. really. Yeah. Now, I mean, uh, there's still two gold for Dan, so he can stand somebody with Illyrio. That's nice and helpful, but again, he's got two characters doing the work. Uh-oh. That's got to be Jakaris there, Whoa, whoa, right? whoa. There's Jakaris. Minus oh. four. Kill Theon. Boom. Jeez. That's a big deal right there. That is a really big deal. Now, challenge still stands. That's a minus one power, minus one character. And it is And he can, no, he can no longer stand because it costs a gold. Correct. It's unopposed, and he claims the dupe anyway. So basically, yeah, Danny, that's fine. Danny that's got fine. burnt a bit. But now, since Danny is down, that gives the intrigue challenge to Patrick. That's tough. I that don't, is I don't like tough. Doing that. No, it's it's. I mean, you take out Theon. The intrigue challenge could have cleared that Dracarys. I. Yeah, this is fine. This, this is, is fine. fine. We enjoy Ooh, it. I saw waking the dragon there in Dan's hand. Oh, watch I'm, out! Wanting to use that one. All right, so it looks like dominance going to Patrick. It will. I think without a doubt it will. Old Balin. Unless, that's... I mean, Balin comes through on a power challenge. Sur certainly that's what he'll do, right? Yes. Boom! And it looks like they're one and one on gold. So there's uh, there the power he is. Challenge. Finally, the power challenge. Balin going to get a power. He's jumping ahead there. One on the house card. Boom. One on Balin. Boom. Boom. And another for the unopposed challenge. For the yoink. Yeah, the yoink or the unopposed. Your choice. Dan, I'm, counting it up. I yoinked it. Can that be a technical term? In yoinking? this game, it like yoink means it was unopposed. 
I think if we can coin the phrase drop and pop, we can do anything we oh, want. Oh, man, yeah. Drop and pop. I feel like that's something that you could make in a hurry with either your toaster oven or microwave as well. Yeah, right, exactly. Or to dance move. Ooh. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of play with this term. Yeah. You notice Patrick hasn't played a single location. What is? Am I what taking is going crazy on? pills? He's he's in warships here. He doesn't have time to yeah, be. Yeah, he just landed, right? Yeah. Just throw them on shore. Tending crops and stuff. Throw them on shore. Repaving roads. Well, he's got pretty full control of this board, and just draws another put to the put sword. to the sword. With that, this new, the second sneak attack plus a put to the sword is pretty much going to be ridiculous. I mean, for look Patrick. at look at this is this is like Balin. If, this is classic Ironborn. Yeah, Greyjoy savagery. Stuff. This is high aggro too. Balin just Ooh. running the board and dropping these put to the swords on the, on the opponent. He, Unbelievable. He needs man. to get some characters out though. We're still uh, kind of at a dearth of characters for these Greyjoys. And looks like we're about to play. Ooh, look like a damp here about to come in. Because or he, damper. He, damper. Oh, that'll help a lot. Yeah. That'll give some uh, icon diversity. Even though he only has one, it's just a new character and, with some icons. And he can bring Theon back in if he oh, wants dominance. Oh, oh, oh. Taking down that King's Road. Yeah. That's a big deal for Dan. That's three Those gold. Those shipwrights are crazy, I man. know, right? Uh, it used to be the old, uh, man, we had a lot of options for location control back in the day. But back in the 1.0s. There was that, what was that little, I remember that dude. There was those three brothers, and one of them could kneel Ooh, location. a handmaid and a so dragon. Good. good thing Danny's out. Yeah, okay, okay, here comes Dan now. This is respectable. This is a respectable foil, but I still don't know if that's enough because he's well, lacking the strength where he needs it in the military challenge right now. Patrick's coming through, and we know he's, he's got, got that a, put to the sword. Got a put to the sword. Danny's about three to characters. get iced. Yeah, it's, it's not looking pretty here. This is complete board control. We can assume Illyrio will be the remaining... Targaryen on the board That's, after this. That would be a fair. Assumption. The dragon isn't worth anything without Danny. Yeah, not or vice not versa. Happening. I can't yeah. remember how it works. I'm having. Ah, uh, yeah, vice versa. Yeah, yeah. The dragon gives Danny a bunch That's of stuff, it. and it's weird because it just it's a little jankier than you want it to be. A little more jank. There's put to the sword happening. Yep. Boom. And then now because of come over uh, Westeros there, it was only a one, one claim. claim. Ah, that's right. Yeah, I forgot about that. So that actually makes it a little bit more tolerable. Of yes. Course. But still, this is a uh, this the the long term prospects for the Targaryens here aren't that good. And worse yet is that even if we look back at what happened last turn with that summoning um, plot, we haven't seen Jamie enter play yet. We haven't yet. seen Jamie. So it's sort of like you you had this awesome plot effect, but it goes unutilized. It Why? goes unutilized. Is it is it uh, you know you look at the cards? If he had the King's Road, would he have played Jamie that sure. turn? Sure. Sure. Good question. Good, good questions. Patrick could have single-handedly prevented that because he needed bodies. Dan knew he needed bodies. On yeah, the board yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, are, are the the Targaryens just gonna keep getting hammered here? That is Crackened. essentially what it looks like. I mean, it's just Patrick just playing guys and killing dudes. And killing dudes. Playing guys, killing dudes. It's a controlling classic the board. Joy philosophy. C controlling the very real board. That is real. Yeah, it's visceral. Visceral. You can feel it. You can see it. You can touch it. It's not conceptual in the least. Touch Dragon the coming in. Military challenge, Ka -ka. looks like. It's a winged dinosaur. That really is all that it is, isn't mm -hmm. it? Bred for its skills in magic. What did the dragons have magic in Thrones? I know uh, that... Uh, I think they're inherently magical. Yeah. Yeah, kind of like that the passive magic, kind of like elves. We don't uh -huh. know what magic is, but we got it. But we got it. Yeah. Somehow there's that word that you use to describe the things we do every day. Yeah. We just call it life. We just call it life. Just like there were uh, there were certain uh, Native American tribes that didn't have a word for religion because it was so infused. Yeah. In their life, it's like, hey, what's your religion? They're like, what? What? You mean? I mean, this is how we live. We have inherent religion. Just I like the idea of inherent religion. Inher That's great. Inherent magic. The Great Joy's religion is murder and conquest. There it is. And Dan taking dominance. And it's to, pretty magical to, steal to watch. It away from Danfer. Now that's important, right? Danfer. If that dominance is won by Patrick, this game I think goes goes sideways. That's I, correct. Although I have to assume Dan's running a wildfire. I have to assume that. Do I have to? Uh, I don't think you have to. I think. Is everybody running one? 
Uh, be real with me. Be real with me. I haven't been running one. That probably is my mistake. But then again, one. I run heavy intrigue. Noble cause, counting coppers. Boom, 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 so, boom. Yeah, generally, the cards aren't there to even play to need to clear. I totally understand. If that makes sense. What you're saying. I had him off the pass. You can't play the cards because you don't have them. So this is a good, good taking the initiative yin here. and yang here. A lot of cards and a lot of gold on one side of the board to the and, other. And Dan still, because he's essentially just weathering military challenges, he is finding himself at eight power here. Yes. Currently uh, winning in the power race as far as I can tell. You have to play to win. And only two gold for Patrick. So again, another. I, I feel like this is another open window for Dan to get back into this game. At this point, he might just go for essentially kind of sneaking power out of his opponent and winning this game with a, an inferior board. That's true. Which is yeah, totally reasonable. He could switch it up. He could, uh, you know, have established the tempo now of anticipated military challenges, and then bam! Oh no, it's suddenly power because they share the same icons. Most of those yes. characters, anyway. And he does have the intrigue advantage, but Patrick's hand now just got filled because he's counting some coppers. Counting those coppers, which is weird that you count coppers to get cards. Right. A little weird. Yeah, why don't they call it counting cardboard? Or going to the library. <laughs> I'm going to check out a book. Oh, there's his first location, and it's a good one. Great mm, crack and coming in that's with the help, help old, of fealty. That's going to help old Balon. Man, that helps Balon so much. It gives him stealth, but it also gives him power claim or card draw on unopposed challenges. So Dan plays his cards right. Only has a single gold again, Single though. gold, because that, that stupid shipwright is keeping the King's Road on lockdown. Don't ask me how. This just worked out perfectly for Patrick so far. Yes, this is really, really He's adding up to a nice head of steam. Clears a the board. snowball. That's right. Head of steam is very appropriate for the Greyjoys. Because the they boards. have so many internal combustion engines. I mean, it looks like Danfer is probably or, steaming you know, steam up that water engines. over there. More steam engines for the head. He's, the He's calling the lightning down, steaming himself. It's like Zeus. Creates his own spa. Oh, it's so comfortable. Get my salt water bath, bubbling salt water bath. That sounds great. Have a that's great, George. I have a powder fine beach sand scrub. Just you know, get all the treatments. I think that's Alanis's secret. Smooth skin. Smooth skin. That's why she's such a catch. That's why Balin likes her, cause she's so inherently unsand like. Certainly. Because you know how sand gets everywhere. I do know that. And that's the main reason that. Men like women. Is that the reason? Because they aren't sand-like. All right, I... If Star Wars has taught me anything. I'm finding it harder and harder to understand <laughs> the analogy. If you've seen Attack of the Crones, <laughs> let me tell you. Uh, we got a... What do we got? A challenge coming in we here? We got one challenge coming in. Just it looks, a dragon. Looks like military. It's got to be military. Balin's thinking about blocking this dragon. That's his last mistake. Boom. Oh, he's attacking. What am I what am I saying? Kaka. What was that dragon doing down? Reasons. <laughs> you know. Reasons. Reasons. You know. Stuff. Alright, so Balin coming in. It's gotta be military. I think it's military. Oh, oh no, man. he doesn't have a reaction. Or maybe does he, he was just defending and it was yeah. just all kinds of wonky. Boom. Man, the way unopposed is determined for Greyjoys, just left and right. I'm glad that there aren't as many unopposed effects that Patrick has out right now because he would just be running away with it. Yep. And remember, getting now a an extra power for that great Kraken. Balin has renown now. Unbelievable. It's crazy. Balin's, so Balin, yeah, Balin claiming the power naturally and then also getting the extra one for the unopposed challenge now. It's just like... Oh my gosh. For the house, too. For the hizzy. Unbelievable. And then Jamie doing some work. Yeah. You want to see a military challenge? Well, I can do that, too. There it is. And, and Dan's still staying really strong on power here. That's right. He's holding on to it, which is what he's got to do, but the tide is turned. I mean, I think Patrick's ahead now. Got, yeah, he's definitely he's got, got the board. Be. Looks like he's missing five there. Power challenge happens here. Boom. Uh-oh, they're, they're jousting for, oh, for the at, lead yeah, here Yeah, look in at power. this, man. He, Dan's sticking in here. He's got the power that he needs. And I don't think he has to worry. He's got dominance locked down. Yep. So we can go ahead and, and throw that challenge in with Jamie if he wants the intrigue. He certainly can. There it goes. Boom. 
Intrigue challenge coming in. Going to take one out of Patrick's hand. No renown for that. No. Definitely no, not. No, sir. No and sir. I, this is also, it's a, it's a stressful time for Thrones because you have to watch out for stuff like heads Ooh, on spikes, cards. right? Exactly. Boom. Like, oh, imagine if that's heads on. on spikes. Pull, first of all, clicking you on there is critically big. That is a huge That is an deal. awesome card to not have to worry about. Huge deal. Unless he has more copies. I mean, Euron just steals this game right up. Yes, he does. Yeah, unless he has more copies. Exactly. Watch out. I don't see any. No, is that? Yeah, he does have an extra copy right in his head. Oh, first no card there. way. <laughs> oh, that's great. So he could still show up, and that would be very disappointing for Dan. It's like, hey, I just got rid of him. All right, and Dan takes takes that. Wow. Four, Dan is so, really holding on he's somehow. Holding, he's got, he has done more is, with fewer characters than I have a, ever seen. It's a beautiful display of Thrones, just the, the beauty of the system, right? Dan has the power, Patrick has the board. Yes. Who's gonna win the game? Mm -hmm. Power obviously wins you the game, but is it enough? Summons over here for Dan. Oh man, Filthy and a Summons? Reinforcement and Filthy gonna kneel down that Jamie. Of course, yes. Now, of course, Illyra can pay two to stand. But he has to pay two, uh, and guess who to. doesn't have the Econ to really afford that? Because that's two out of the four gold he's already getting, so he's had to spend four of his real money. Because the other three that he has from the King's Road is just a reducer. Yeah, and and guess, you can't use reducers to pay for events or anything like but, that. But hey, you know what? King's Road can at least do something now that it's that true. shipwright's gone. Stupid shipwright! Shipwright kneeling a King's Road. Can you believe it? He must be building some awesome ships. Turn after turn, he's yeah, he's on a, a retainer I, with the king. Tears and all of, those ships, man, are doing the something. Thing, right, shut down the tears road. of Liss on Balin. Somehow. Is the end. It is the end. I mean, that's Patrick what I was hoping falls. for that first turn, but it didn't happen. It was a pity. If he's even running those tears. Yeah, he may not be running tears. May not be running tears. I don't know, man. I don't know what people do. Can't make room for him. Oh, another Jora. Grabs a Jora. All right, so that's at least a two cost body. That's that's the lowest cost, highest payoff character you can get. Jora's back from the wall, everybody. Got discarded, and now he's back. He didn't make enough friends, and they kicked him out. Yeah, George just keeps showing up. That's get out of here, Mormont. Very appropriate. He just can't find a forever home. That is the story of Jorah, isn't it? That's true. One of the better characters. One of the better characters. He's just looking for love in all the wrong places. And for the accusation, puts Jamie to the floor. To the floor. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll find a way to stand, stand, stand. I mean, you could do like a Sir Jorah, Stan Jamie, something out of King's Road play if you needed to. Mm, I would say. like to see that. Got some options here. Now, all right, Greyjoy's up. Ooh, that's Ooh, it. Doopy doop on Balon. So bad. There was a window for Dan to get in here. I think Ugh. last turn and turn before he needed to get that Balon off the board. Yes. He had the intrigue to do it. That he one had... one bit of resistance or padding there. Ah, oh, and a salty navigator. Yeah, salty navigator. So whoa, whoa, whoa! I just now got clued back in that those boys have plus one initiative. Yes. Holy smokes! They do. That is an amazing card. Single icon, plus one initiative, two Ugh. for two. Ugh, that's fantastic. It's yeah, it is. It is. A lot of people running two to three of these guys. Worth it. A little setup fodder. Oh, and is Patrick sitting on three gold? What is that guy up to? Oh, he's definitely up it's to an, something. It is so, I love what they've done in second edition, making holding on to it's gold so smart. after marshalling so inherently suspicious. It's so like, smart. Yes. And two gold there for Dan. Yep. He's going to use that to stand, obviously. They're up to so. something. Yeah, we got, a, we got a game here. Now, Now Dan has got to be super careful because Patrick could just win this thing here. He's got... What, he's got uh, one for Balin. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he can get a power there. He can get an unopposed power for the Kraken. He can steal one from the house. That's... He can get dominance. I mean, we're... He's got to get five, but we're up to four. Uh, we're getting really close here. And if he gets a second unopposed challenge, <gasps> that's 15. There's 15. Called it like it is. So be very careful. Very careful. Very, very careful. So, oh, man. Yeah, looking looking at the options here, and I th I think Patrick really has to get that Jora out of here because that Renown and or Jamie with Renown is really gonna because he because Dan's at twelve. Dan's at twelve. For, He's got to be very forget. careful here. This is gonna be close, and Patrick almost to a certainty has to win his power challenge. All right, so we have an unopposed military, and he puts to the sword. Oh, Illyrio, which keeps Jamie down. Keeps Jamie down and gives him an unopposed power challenge. Oh, good gravy. That may well be the game, my yeah. friends. Oh, goodness, yes. Oh, goodness. Watch out. Patrick could be on his way to a victory here on a sudden. Suddenly. Woo. Power. 
Unopposed. Power coming in. It's unopposed. One from the house and great crack and trigger for three power. That's the game. Are you serious? Dan's it just do happened. About this. Oh goodness, Dan! Wake the dragon. Can you? Yeah. Summon? I don't know what he can do. Summon the kraken. I mean, no, don't. That's good for the Greyjoys. Oh, uh, what, what can he it? do? What can he do? It's just a he's got rush. two gold. This is a real rush. And there, Holy there's this, there's smokes! The That's it. Fifteen That's power. It. GG. Seemingly out of nowhere, what? it seemed. Maintaining a nice, even tempo of board control throughout what the game. A crack and surprise. Pa Patrick just clint just gets it. I we mean, call what? That, we call that the old Kraken surprise. Got six, six power real quick like that to seal the deal. Great oh, performance man. from both p players, but congrats to Patrick yes. for really just like, hey, I can switch gears between military and power whenever I game. want and win Boy, these things. Boy, if he doesn't get it there, I Woo. have to think that Dan takes that game. Yes, with, I agree. With Jorah and He Jamie was so Pinchel. close. So close. Wild but, game, guys. Well, thank woo. you so much for watching. This kind of content is enabled by your purchases from our store, so check that out, teamcovenant.com slash store. We got all the packs, all the second edition stuff. We've and got banner tokens. Banner tokens. Subscribe to Hey, it. and guess what? We just opened up more slots for subscribers for yes. Game of Thrones packs. Excellent. The supply looks good, so if you're looking to sign up and get regular releases, come on down. It's the easiest way to do it, guys. Thank you so much for everything you do for us. We'll keep doing all these great things for you in the form of these games, and we'll all keep moving on together. Thank you so much again. Take care. Peace.